Hi guys, so let's touch up my roots as well as dye my side cut and undercut. I'll be using Pravana 40 Vol Lightener as well as Pravana Neon Green dye and uh, black dye. So now I'm just mixing up the cream developer and the powder lightener. Let's also appreciate the moustache cape. Yes. So now I'm applying the lightener to my roots for starting on the outer edge and working my way in. And so uh, I'm working on some other videos too. Um, I recently got some makeup that I'm very excited about, which is the Smoke Sessions palette. If you follow me on Instagram, then you saw me. I post about it in my story. I also have been like commenting about it on the Melt Cosmetics Instagram account. So I'm excited to like play with that palette. If you know me, you know I love makeup. And you know, I also, I, I like the herbs. So yeah. Sorry, some people. So I know that like offends some people just like off the bat. It's not like I go on about it. It's just something I like. So the lightener is all done and finished and I had a plastic bag on to like keep in the heat and like make it come out nice. I obviously missed a little bat like patch in the back of my head by my undercut, but you won't really see that ever. So I got the good parts though, I got the good parts. So now time to add the dye, starting with the neon green. So talking about some other videos that I also wanna work on is uh, I'm combining uh, the spicy ramen challenge, like do a kind of mukbang video with talking about the Shane Dawson series with Jake Paul. Because even though it's come out, like it's been finished for a while, there is a lot to talk about still and it, people are still talking about it. I mean, because the whole thing with like him and uh, Jake Paul and Eric Costell breaking up and Shane Dawson, you know, how <laughs> the series made their relationship seem so perfect and um, amazing. And like she was the greatest thing in his life and it just wasn't so. So there was kind of a bit of manipulation in there and there's still more to talk about. So I finished with the neon green, now on to the black, blending that up, not too far up because I don't want to fuck up my green too much. Because I really love my green, you know, but I like to keep the balance between the two. I like both. I like having both. I don't really think I ever want to go fully one way or the other. I really like the forever green black ombre. So yeah, there, there's just still more to talk about. People are still talking about the series and Jake Paul and his own exposed series kind of came out. So this is the original look with the neon green, but once my roots came in, I didn't like it anymore. And so I decided to shave off the neon green and then go in with uh, aqua blue. So right now I'm mixing up the Bravana and adding that to my side cut and undercut. So, yeah, it's like I like the roots on my long neon green hair, but for some reason when the dark root grew in on my short green hair, did not look as good. Looked weird. I don't know. I like it better with the blue. So I got that bleached. Yeah, that little patch. See, it's like so minor. You, can, you won't really see that ever. So I'm mixing Arctic Fox Aqua, Aqua Blue with some conditioner because I like the aqua blue, but I wanted it a bit lighter. And so if you mix uh, dye with conditioner, it'll lighten it a bit. So yeah, adding that to my side and undercut. And then I let that sit on for a while. And that is the complete finished look, how I have it now. <laughs> I love it so much more. See how minor that little like patches? It doesn't really matter. And then I also put on like Garnet Fortis Moroccan Silk uh, Oil to just give it a nice shine and make it look pretty when I straighten it. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more from me. 
If you want to follow me beyond YouTube, I suggest Instagram and all of my social media links are down below. Feel free to become a patron if you want to support this channel. Bye.